All righty. Canada's Wonderland is currently building what is speculated to be its largest project in history. They started construction way back in October, or I should say prep work for the largest construction project at Canada's Wonderland, and construction on the actual ride itself started about a month ago. With the station first launch and turn into the mountain, along with the brake run, being under development currently for their caissons, footings, and electrical work, much still remains unknown about Canada's Wonderland's 2025 project. A lot of speculation is going on out there, along with Canada's Wonderland teasing, but a lot of people are wondering, is this going to be a dueling coaster? Is this just going to be a single coaster? What are the teasers insinuating? Um, and truthfully, it is mind-boggling how this project remains one of the few in the world that has not leaked. So a lot remains a mystery, and we are about eight days away from announcement. So for those of you that don't know, Canada's Wonderland will be making an announcement on August 8th at around 8 a.m. approximate on a coaster that is coming to Canada's Wonderland in the 2025 season. Currently, all that is known to us is that this yellow space that you see on the screen is the area that this project will take up. This coaster is gonna go all the way over from Elpenfest, Elpen, all the way over to Extreme Sky Flyer's Old Plot of Land, and it'll do whatever Wonderland has ordered the company to design to do that remains unknown. Wonderland has been teasing a lot of elements or elemental theming to this ride. Speaking of Wonderland's teasers, they kind of dropped the lore of the coaster in a very small way. On their website, it says a new adventure is coming when elements combine, a power awakens. There is a mountain that inspires legend, a village that reveres the elements, and a force that refuses to be contained. On August 8th, discover the new adventure coming to Canada's Wonderland. So that's definitely hinting at some sort of large-scale coaster with the elements that are going to have people in awe. In translation, that's kind of what that teaser is insinuating. Now, here before you on the screen are some three concepts that I think the midway and the station and coaster area of this coaster could look like. So before you, I have the most simple... Uh, with the Drakenfell logo right there. By the way, that's not the name of the coaster. That's just my prediction. Um, the midway would be just out front of the coaster, similar to uh, Bauer Ensian's old um, Blauer Ensian, sorry, it's old entrance. If for those of you that remember Park History, that's kind of what I insinuate when I'm saying this. It's going to be very similar, just right out in the middle of Elpen. Do I think that could work? Not really. It's really tight, so that'd be kind of a shock to me. Option number two that I am presenting is the removal or relocation of um, Shockwave. So Drakenfell, uh, this example before you, our 2025 coaster, its midway and coaster entrance and all that would be in Shockwave's location, um, and you would enter up towards the coaster station. So that is option two. Um, that definitely allows for a proper Cedar Fair, or I guess in quotation, Six Flags Midway. Um, that they like to build and redesign the area. Um, the green highlighted areas, by the way, are rethemed. So I definitely think the fly um, and shockwave, if it's staying, um, will be rethemed because they are in plain eyesight of this coaster. And Cedar Fair does like to elevate the locations that new projects go into. So my prediction is definitely um, that you'll see a retheme of Thunder Run and Shockwave. Um, so in this example, my favorite personally is a Drakenfell sign and Midway would be off to where the entrance of Fly is. Um, so I left two options up there. I still think they would keep the entrance and exit to the Fly the same, but I gave another option just in case. Um, so you'd have the Drakenfell Midway and the Fly with its re-theme all in the same area, themed to Elpen slash Elpenfest or Bavarian Village. 
Um, Shockwave would also still be repainted or rethemed to Medieval Fair or Bavarian Village, who knows, just to blend in more because it's got a very generic color scheme. So these are the options that I personally think would make the most sense for a 2025 coaster. What do you guys think? Comment down below. Do you think one of these three options is on the right track? Which one of the three would you prefer? Personally, number three for me is my favorite, but definitely want to hear from you guys. Which would you prefer out of the three? Anyways, thanks so much for watching, guys. Stay tuned for our construction update a little later today. And have a good one. Bye.